Joining me now is Dr. Joseph Capisi, Professor of Moral Theology and Ethics and Executive Director of the Institute for Human Ecology at the Catholic University of America. Welcome to the program. Thank you, Lauren. Nice to be here. We heard that Pennsylvania Attorney General this morning say, Josh Shapiro say, that he believes that not only has the clergy abuse hotline in his state received more than 700 calls since this report, but that the alleged cover-up stretched, in his words, and I quote, all the way up to the Vatican. What's your take? Um, my take is, is that I think that's a lot of lay people's beliefs at this point that this goes all the way up the ladder, um, you know, from the priesthood all the way right up to the Vatican. Um, many people have lost trust um, in their priests and their bishops. Um, and in the hierarchy in their capacity to handle this issue. Church leaders in Missouri and Illinois say they will cooperate with state investigations. Do you believe similar offenses of this magnitude have taken place all across the country? Well, if we're talking about the offenses that, um, like were discovered in Pennsylvania, then my guess is, yeah, probably. Um, you know, that was over a very long period of time, and over a very long period of time, probably priests did these kinds of things. The most heinous aspect of this, of course, is not just you know, these offenses, but the cover-ups, right? The pushing, you know, the pushing aside of people and relocating them to other places and hiding these things. These are the things, I think, that, you know, contribute to the real outrage lay people uh, feel. So what does Francis need to do to help lay people like me and you have more faith in the church and return credibility to its leaders. Right. I'm not sure there's any single, single thing anybody can do, including uh, the Pope at this point. But obviously, uh, transparency is going to be critical. This is why I think most people had very negative reactions to the silence um, in response to the, the interview on the plane. We need transparency. We need forthrightness. We need courage. Um, and we need bishops um, to continue to step forward because there are good bishops out there, but they need to step forward um, and, and in some cases perhaps risk their careers for this. As you see, there is a lot of misinformation floating about in the media, right. but Pope Francis is remaining silent and he is saying, journalists, it's up to you to right. determine what happened. And yet, if you look at the report we just had about the New York Times, they're not getting it right all of the time. So yeah. how is that a solution? It's not a solution. Um, the, and we've seen in, in the United States, the public is really suspicious about the press as well, right? We, We're the, worse than lawyers. Do you know yeah, that? Um, <laughs> That's hard to do. Yeah. I mean, congratulations, by the way, on achieving that. That was really something else. Um, but yeah, the, the public right now views as suspicious anybody. They see people sort of siding, you know, uh, taking sides uh, right and left, and they're fed up with this. This is, to some extent, the Trump phenomenon itself. Um, the phenomenon of fake news is poisoning, you know, the church's capacity to respond to these things. So turning it over to journalists is not going to solve the problem either. It's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see whether or not an investigation comes and right. what we can look forward to. I hope we can have you back to talk about it. Thank you so much, Dr. Joseph Capisi, Professor of Moral Theology and Ethics at Catholic University of America. Thank you.